You know, getting a good night's sleep is crucial for renewing and recharging our bodies and minds. I could talk about sleep all day. So understanding how our diet and lifestyle choices are affecting our quality of sleep is so important. Joining us with tips to ensure we're all getting the rest we need is Andrea Donsky. I'm so happy to see you in here. I'm so happy to be here with you. And talking about sleep. Yes. So let's start with a question for the audience. Okay. So let's see by a show of hands, how many of you are having uh, trouble or have had troubles with your sleep? Just put those hands in the air. That would probably <laughs> <lot> be people. <laughs> most people. It, sleep is a tough one. It is a tough one and it's an epidemic. And women yes. are more prone to sleep issues than men are. And huh. as we go into perimenopause and menopause, it's one of the first and most common symptoms that we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. And some of the reasons include stress, yeah. bathroom visits, yes. night sweats, <laughs> insomnia, pain, noise or disruptions, yeah. and temperature, either too hot or too cold, and the list goes on. The noise or disruptions is that human beside you that <laughs> sounds like a lawnmower. Oh, yeah. the, the snoring! snoring. Oh. oh, it's a problem, <laughs> like visions of homicide in your head, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, but when someone's snoring, <laughs> It's brutal and I have a solution for it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the things we are eating and drinking. Yeah, so some foods can promote sleep and some can disrupt it. So let's mm -hmm. start with the ones that disrupt it. Yeah, okay. Junk food. Yeah. So junk foods, which are high in sugar, can mess with our blood sugar levels. Also, it's been linked to insomnia and inflammation. Okay. Now, it also becomes a bit of a vicious circle. When we don't sleep, we crave junk food. Mm -hmm. And when we're eating more junk food, we don't sleep. Right? So kind of like, so minimizing that. Another reason. Yes. Caffeine. Now, we've all heard how caffeine or experienced how caffeine can actually affect our sleep. Mm -hmm. But here's why. So sleep blocks the chemicals in our brain that promote sleep. Mm -hmm. So caffeine blocks the chemicals in our brain that promote sleep. Mm -hmm. But also, it delays the production of melatonin, which is what gets released at night when it's dark. Okay. So sources of caffeine, coffee, tea, and chocolate. On top of caffeine, chocolate also has a compound called theobromine, okay. which is stimulating. So, and you know, not such a great food to eat before bed. Got it. Alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> you'll go to sleep, but you won't stay, will you? You will not stay, you will not stay asleep once it's metabolized. Yeah. Also, as you go into perimenopause and menopause, I know for me in particular, it just triggers hot flashes and night sweats. I just can't do it anymore. The worst with wine now. Yeah. Can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then greasy, spicy foods. These are foods that we know that can trigger or exacerbate heartburn, and lying down is just going to make it worse. Okay, good to know. Now, what should we be eating to promote sleep? So, protein. Protein rich okay. foods are amazing. First of all, they regulate our blood sugar levels, but yeah. also they have an amino acid called tryptophan. We've all heard yeah. of turkey, right? They have tryptophan, it makes us tired. Mm -hmm. Tryptophan helps to increase melatonin and serotonin. Okay. okay? Fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. They're full of vitamins like B6, minerals like magnesium, as well as fiber. Fiber yeah. helps to keep our blood sugar controlled, which is great. So if you're waking up to go to the bathroom overnight, it could be because your blood sugar is dysregulated. Oh. So fiber helps to keep it regular, regulated. Okay, good. Melatonin producing or melatonin containing foods, that yeah. helps as well. Again, melatonin is important for the timing of our circadian rhythm, helping mm -hmm. us to fall asleep and to stay asleep. The research shows that omega-3s, like fatty fish, also from supplements, mm -hmm. helps to promote a better quality night's sleep. And then chamomile tea. Chamomile has an antioxidant called apigenin. Yeah. Apigenin helps us to relax. Okay, really good. This is the stuff you want to have before bed, right? Yes. Now, we've heard getting seven to nine hours of sleep a night is ideal, but many of us are not getting that, yes. which can make us feel a little bit anxious. We get into that spiral, right? So yes. How does stress affect our sleep? It's the most thing. It's the biggest thing that affects our sleep. Okay. Okay, so we did a recent survey at Morphus, which is my company, mm -hmm. and we found out that especially for women going into perimenopause and menopause, number one reason that we're not sleeping well. Okay. So let me explain it really quickly. Our adrenal glands, we have one on They're each so side. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. They sit above our kidneys just like this. Okay. When we're stressed, our adrenals secrete adrenaline and cortisol, which yeah. can disrupt our sleep. These are stress, stress hormones. Yeah. Now, also, for many of us, by the time we go to bed and we're lying in the dark and we're kind of just like, there are no more distractions, that's when our brain starts to wander. We start to worry. We're thinking about things like, what was that conversation I had today? Or mm. what do I have to do tomorrow? We're making that mental to-do list for the mm -hmm. next day. So that's, when it comes to stress, our mind impacts our sleep. It's right. so important that we manage those stress levels before we go to sleep, especially before we go to sleep. What we want to do is promote the parasympathetic part of our nervous system, okay. right? If that's the part that helps us to relax. Mm. So deep breathing, mm -hmm. journaling, 
journaling, right? Meditation, yeah. taking yeah. a lukewarm bath. And then I also love essential oils. So essential oils, I want you to try this. So there are essential oils that help to relax us. Okay. So like lavender and German chamomile. So what okay. you can do is you can throw it in your bath. This yeah. is from Lisa Bird. They're my favorite essential oils. Rub your hands together. Breathe it in, just breathe it in. And then what you can do is take it, you can put it on your shoulders, mm. rub it on your legs, put some on your pillow. Yeah. It just helps you to relax and it just kind of like takes it down and off. It's like all of those little triggers mm. and signs that says to your body and your brain, time, sleepy time. Exactly. Right? And you want all of that. All of that. Okay. Exactly. Uh, let's talk about our sleep environment. What do we need to think about? So crucial, crucial, crucial. Yeah. It all has a role. It all plays a role. So what we want to think about is temperature. Our room should be 65 to 68 degrees or 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. So you want to change your thermos, make sure your thermostat is in that range. If mm -hmm. you can't, open a window, use a fan, ice packs, everything yes. is going to help. You want to make sure your room is pitch black. Yes. The reason why is because our melatonin is produced when it's dark. So right. blackout blinds are amazing, or you can use a sleep mask. I actually love my sleep mask, and I use it every single night. It kind of you becomes do, this uh? thing. Yeah, it kind of becomes this thing that you're like, oh, I need my sleep mask. Yeah. It just gets. It just helps with that better night's sleep. Okay. Noise. You're talking about a snore. Sorry, mm -hmm. Rich, but it's brutal. This the mm -hmm. noise, the snoring, mm -hmm. or if you have the distractions from your kids or an mm -hmm. animal that's in your bed, right? So you have noise that's around you. Yeah. So try earplugs. That's my solution. Yes. <laughs> Good. Your plugs work really well. That's why well. you're still married. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's debilitating. That's why we're still sleeping in the same room. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Absolutely. You know, the earplugs they are the sound machine. Turn off your technology. Yeah. You don't want to be exposed to blue light. Blue mm. light, actually, what it does is it wakes you up. You can put on some blue blocking glasses like mm. this. These are chic. Aren't they chic? They look good. Everybody right? So looks an hour good. or two before bed. And just make sure your mattress and your pillow are good because that actually, they're comfortable because that actually can cause pain in your body and then you can also consider a weighted blanket. It just kind of gives you that hug to give you that better night's sleep. So good, Andrea. Thank you for 